Hey everyone, I'm Zockley and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. This week's update comes with some improvements to the overall game while the team continues to work behind the scenes on the new HUDs, physics, performance and multiplayer among other things. So to start with, a significant number of blocks, all of which are larger than 1x1x1 in size, now have improved placement behaviour. This includes medical rooms, large hydrogen thrusters, refineries and many more. A good example of these changes is that you will now be able to place a medical room on a single armour block. This was just not possible before. There will also be additional blocks of conveyor ports that will try to align with other conveyor ports when being placed. Certain elements of ship construction should be slightly faster and more intuitive thanks to these changes. Moving on, wheel suspension blocks have new default settings that will make building the average wheeled vehicle much easier. These settings can of course be adjusted to your liking as before, but now wheels should be much better from the get-go. The range of ship-based welders has been increased, making them massively more efficient to use again over hand welders, and lastly we resolved a couple of issues related to the renderer. In other news, there's a group from Keen Software House at GDC this week, including the producer of Space Engineers, the producer of Medieval Engineers, and a red space engineer. And this coming Friday, they're organising a fan meetup. So if you're going to GDC and would like to join in, please contact Deep Flame via Discord. You can find a link to our Discord server in the video description box below. But that's all from me today. If you're interested in the full list of bug fixes, tweaks, and improvements in this update, please see the change log on our forums. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week. And as always, Clang and hounds may get you down, but a medbay will never fail you.